Hello teachers. In this video I'm going to look at the idea of using saved questions to create quizzes and tests. And this is something that can save you a lot of time and can make it much easier to quiz on a very regular basis, which is one of the best things that, that you can do for the kids in order to get things into their long-term memory. So I'm going to go through, the, the, through this step by step and again, as with past tutorials, feel free to, to stop to do this in your own Schoology account and uh, and then uh, you know come back and rewind and, and do everything as necessary take your time on this but it, it's meant to be a hands-on thing so first I'm going to select a course and I'm just going to show you right away what what this enables so let's say you know we've been talking about confirmation cr for a couple days uh, and I want to construct a quiz. Well, I could write out all the questions one by one. I could say, OK, add multiple choice question, add a true or false, and type it all out again, blah, blah, blah. But that's a lot of work. I don't want to do that. So here's the easy thing. I've already done work on confirmation. We've already had some quizzes on this. So I'm going to go to my question bank. And like a regular bank, it saves money. Question banks save questions. So I go to my sacraments. I go to confirmation and general questions and I've, been, I've taught this course a number of times so I have these questions saved up so now I pick the ones that we've already covered that we want to review so yeah I want this question and uh, we're gonna make this one worth four points and what's the form of confirmation oh we'll say this is worth three um, who can administer the sacrament that's uh, three and uh, oh, I want this question too who can uh, or what are the effects mm, that's more important more right answers so we'll say five and oh look here's a true false question I want well it's true false that's easy we'll only make that worth two so again I, I pick the questions that I want and I pick the values for them okay and now I'm going to add questions and here we go I have five questions with values and answers all set to go and I, I just created a quiz based on past work that I had already done so it's great if you've taught a course multiple times or, um, to, to have this question bank available so you can just grab questions from it and, and throw them at the kids. Very good. But now the question is, how do you get questions into the question bank that you can then draw on, make, make future withdrawals on? Okay. So this is the basic way to do it. You go to Resources, go to Personal, and this has... Um, you know a whole lot of organization all my save save stuff here and I'm gonna go to uh, sacraments and I create all these folders so let me go back and we'll just start brand new um, so what you do is uh, so this is my basic page so I go to add resources and look if you go all the way down here you can add question bank Okay, name of the question bank. Uh, so let's call this one teaching scripture. So we'll call this uh, Genesis Genesis questions. Okay. You can also use this feature here. Well, we won't talk about that right now. Question tracking, but that's a separate thing. So I create my bank. Okay. And so if I go all the way, oops, down here, it was the last resource created, and so here's my. Genesis question bank. So I click on it. I have no questions yet. So what do I do? I add a question. Um, so uh, true or false question. Um, let's say uh, Eve was made from a from Adam's big toe in Genesis two. That's our statement, and of course it's false. It's a rib, and uh, so you can also do something like require uh, require correction and give a weight to that, um, and they could say rib or something like that. I, I generally haven't used that option a lot, but you create your question. You can do your feedback. So incorrect response. They put. Uh, they say, yeah, it was the big toe. You say no. It it was a rib. Okay, so they also see the right answer. And then I go to create question, and there it is in my Genesis question bank, and I'm now free to use that from now on. And what's really great about this is that as you, if you're making regular quizzes, 
and, and you create your questions in a bank and then you just pull that into your quizzes as you're making them, then when it comes time to make a test, you already have a whole bunch of questions available and you can just check them off and drag them in and create a test in no time flat. So it makes it, uh, it, makes it quite easy and in, in some ways uh, creating question banks can be a huge time saver.